Cowboy movie legends are often known for catching the bad guys and saving the town from the clutches of peril. But as WTOL's Lou Abe reveals, there's a town in Northwest Ohio that was also saved by a cowboy movie hero for real. As Lou tells us in tonight's edition of Wow, That's Weird. Kenton is a pleasant little city in Hardin County with a quaint and busy downtown, a handsome and historic courthouse, a vintage theater, and the legacy of a hometown Civil War hero. But there was another hero, Gene Autry, the singing cowboy who sits astride his horse champion on a mural above the park that bears his name. And why is this legend of the silver screen? I'm back in the saddle again. Celebrated here? Out where a friend is a friend. Well, it seems that he saved the town, or his famous cap gun did. You see, it was the depression that hit the Kenton Hardware and Toy Company very hard. But in 1938, they landed a contract to make the official Gene Autry cast iron cap guns. And bang. Every kid had to have one. The Kenton Toy Company had to call workers back in, and it was saved. Back in the saddle again. And believe it or not, this larger-than-life singing cowboy used to travel to Kenton from Hollywood just to get a look at how his famous cap guns were being made. This was a visit in 1940 to the factory, and the town was so thrilled well, Gene Autry made an appearance at that theater we told you about, still in operation on Findlay Street. And the old Kenton Hardware and Toy Company is no longer in business, now just a ghost of its former self. A sign marks the spot. At the Hardin County Museum, you can get a closer look at all those pistols that made Kenton famous. As these cast iron guns and other cast iron toys from Kenton are rare and popular collector's items today. So if you're ever in the town of Kenton, you'll know why this small Midwestern city is home to a cowboy hero and a toy gun that saved a town. In Kenton, Lou Bear, WTOL 11.